Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. Okay, so I am working on, let's have a look here. Um, you, well, not VHS tapes. Where are we? Umatic, three quarter inch. Okay, so Umatic tapes from the 19, well, late 70s. This is from 1989. They look like this. Um, players, parts, repair people for all this stuff. Very few and far between. Um, they come in different uh, shapes. Oh, look at this, all just fall into pieces. Um, and this is what this tape looks like here. So they, they do come in different sizes based on the running time. So this is like a 10 minute tape. That one's a, what, 60 minute? Um, anyway, so this particular tape here, um, surprise, surprise, was playing fine. Anytime you put them in there, you got to be careful. So I've got the capture run in here. Hopefully this is going to come through. Okay, so nice and clear. This is a broadcast. Okay, so what was happening with this tape? It was playing okay. And then let's have a look here. What number was this? 10, 29. Here we go. Tape 29. So here's the file. And after three minutes and 41 seconds, it started to go to crap. Look at this. And then it just cut. Look at that. So I want to get to that point again and see what's going on and see if I can recreate the issues. Now, this doesn't have a time uh, count on this one. Look at this. And look at this. I don't have this even screwed in because I got to take it off so many times to clean the video head. Look at that. Woohoo! Hey, look, it's start to go. Which runs today through May 22nd. And if you're really listening to this, you can hear it's a little bit rattly. That's actually the speakers on this this uh, MacBook. So you can see the tape roll in here. I clean the heads on these, but all this internal stuff, Tim does this next door, Arizona Video Electronics. Um, right now I've got one, Uno, one machine that's working. And when people are like, how much you charge? I'm like, yeah, go ahead and find another guy that's willing to risk putting a tape in for a couple bucks. Um, because if this thing gets stuck in here, which sometimes the tapes get stuck. Oh my God, trying to get them out. Absolute pain in the ass. Okay, you can hear the audio just went. Picture's gone. It's not very long. So it wasn't like an abrupt ending. Let's have a look here what the last few frames were. Uh, actually, that is, yeah, that is him like walking off. And if I go back, this is actually better news than I thought because it's actually, I actually thought that maybe the heads are going to crap. So what I'm going to do, uh, hold on, let's do this. So you can see the capture there, video's playing. And the thing is, it won't do like a, a preview. I mean, you, you can skew it right here. But, all right, let's see. Okay, that's looks like it's gone to the end, so. All right, I was a little bit suspicious because whenever these tapes end, they're really short. And they end with like an abrupt, weird, you know, looking thing like that. Always makes me a little nervous and I like to cross-reference it. And this is what any video transfer professional should be doing. Is monitoring and, and really piecing together the content. And using their noggin and going, wait a minute, this doesn't seem right. Let me investigate further. Let me delete the clip. Let me start over again. 
Let me inspect it. I could be wasting my time, but at least I know this is done right. Because two reasons. First of all, you're paying a company to do this correctly. Yeah, look at this. I mean, at the beginning of... T oh. Okay, so I'm going to stop that. And I'm going to cross-reference this against the first capture that I had. Yeah, it's a little scratchy on that. See, look, it's crap on that as well. It's just the tape. I mean, these tapes do go bad. What I'm going to do is some due diligence here. Number 29 again. Okay, because it's playing perfectly fine. So, I'm, But I'm going to do this. I'm going to clean the video head on it. I'm going to rewind it. I'm holding this forever. Um, and I'm going to... While I'm here, I'm going to show you how to clean the video heads on these things. All right. A little chamois tip. And I'm going to jack that. Because these things are beasts. As you can see. Okay. And just light pressure on it. Let's see, because that was perfectly clean when I uh, place that on there that was new out the bag. Give it a couple more rotations. Let's see what it looks like. Holy mackerel, look at that. Woo! Hello. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. That is... Filthy. Uh, even that. Yeah. Okay. That's. But look at that. Is that coming through? Look. Um. Okay. God, man, that is like charcoal. That is charcoal. All right. So, let that go here. And let me just put a little bit on here. I'm just going to give that a little go there. What is that? Okay, that's good. Man. Okay. So, let's give that a little spinny spin. Let it dry off. And let's see if that beginning bit is gonna play better uh, let's see hope this is recording yep uh, it's still a little scratchy yeah no uh unfortunately that's as good as it's gonna get it's better than nothing but that is the actual tape situation right there all right let's do that get the atlanta bit in there where it's saying four three two one come on come on there we go start the capture This is from, it doesn't give me a date. I think the cheat sheet does. It's number 29. ITC, no, no date. My hunch is based on the other one is from 1989. So this is going to be somewhere in that range. But as you can see here, it's coming out nice and clear. And for you trolls out there, they're like, why aren't you capturing this via uh, 4K HDMI uh, 
Okay, first of all, there's only composite out on this thing. Um, second of all, definitely, as I say hundreds of times in my videos, many different ways to skin it. Um, but for economics, um, simplicity, uh, dealing with all of this old stuff en masse for a business, uh, you have to find the economic middle ground. Less time, less money, what people are willing to pay. I can go to the ends of the earth. But when I tell people pricing, they're like, well, wait a minute, we'll just go ahead and do, you know, this. And it plays absolutely fine. It's perfectly good. The main thing is, is that, as Kenny Rogers and his short shorts, um, is that the playback equipment is optimal. Uh, yes, you could get some sort of up-converted, upscaled uh, transfer, but if they're running it on an old, crappy, inoperable player with an absolute muppet that's handling the, you know, doesn't know what they're doing, then it's all pointless and irrelevant. So, um, yeah, but these Umatic decks here... They have them in abundance on eBay, and you might pick some up at Goodwill. They weigh an absolute ton. This is um, a boat anchor. Um, it weighs a ton, so when this is shipped to you, um, usually comes in damaged. I got one next door at uh, uh, Tim. It, all the frame is bent because they didn't do it correctly. Um, they didn't ship it correctly, sorry. Um, got a couple here. They're inoperable. I've got a... Uh, another umatic here that's inoperable you can see this is all bent from shipping um these arrive and they don't work so anything on ebay 100 assume it does not work unless they're charging thousands of dollars with a complete and utter guarantee and warranty and if it's being shipped via ups any of these places it gets banged up <sighs> whether they cover that or not who knows but parts and somebody who knows what the hell is going on inside of these things, my God, they're all retired or passed away. So, you know, you've got to really, really value um, so many different factors about this stuff. So if you've got a ton of these tapes and you're looking to do this yourself, oh my God, good luck. Um, if you are hiring a company out to do this, there are, you know, lots of different companies out there. You've got to check Google reviews. You've got to check. Hopefully, they've got a YouTube channel showing you the deck and their processes of elimination and how they correctly do all of this stuff, especially the problem stuff, and have, you know, 5.0 on Google, uh, hundreds of reviews, all that good stuff. Um, yeah. Otherwise, if you would like me to do it, fill at Got Memories, uh, gotmemories.com. I'm going to swivel this around here. And, uh, yeah, so if you would like uh, me to do it, gotmemories.com, fill out the quote form as best you can. If you are looking for cheap pricing and all you care about is price, do not waste your time filling out that quote form. This stuff is expensive to do. The decks are all 1970s, early 80s stuff, extremely rare. So if you've got precious stuff and it's valuable to you, it all equals out. So... Um, the highest bidder goes on this stuff because there is going to be a day when there's going to be no more decks left, no more parts, no more repair people. I don't know what the hell they're doing. If you're looking to go to college and get a university degree, I would go be an intern at a VCR repair guy's place. Walk in and go, hey, I'm going to work for free for six months. I want to learn your craft and maybe buy your business off you after that. Who knows? But you could write your own ticket in the next 10 years um, on all this stuff. So, um, yeah. All the best to you out there. Again, gotmemories.com, but please do not fill out that quote form. I sent emails out every single day with people kicking tires. If you're serious about getting this stuff done, yes. If you are kicking tires and you're like, I've got a stuff, but you've got a whole stack of tapes and I want to spend 200 bucks on No, 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 no. This is reserved for people that have valuable content and they value the content and mean something to them in their heart or it is corporate stuff. Um, that, that really has a uh, repurposing value to it. That is who I cater to. Um, so, yeah, all the best to you out there. Cheers, like, subscribe, all that. Bye.